Hello, hope you are doing good. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to control animation sequence on Canva. With the steps that I'm about to show you, whether you're creating a presentation or you're creating a video, you will be able to use the same steps as they won't change. So all you'll need to do is simply go onto your timeline and let's say for example, you would like to animate this text. All you will need to do is simply tap on the text that you would like to animate or the image that you would like to animate. Then you are going to go to the top right hand corner and you are going to see animate. From here, you can go over to the left hand menu option and you can see the different animation options. So all you will need to do is select an option of your liking. So let's say for example, this animate option. Then from there, you can choose whether you like it to animate on enter, on exit, or both. And if you are using the Canva paid plan, you will also be able to control the speed and direction. But if you are not using the paid plan, don't worry, I will show you another way how you can control the speed. You can also scroll down and from here, you can also see other animation options that you could also integrate and add, as you can see right there. Once you are finished, all you'll need to do now, you will simply tap on save and that would be it. But let's say for example, you would like to control the speed. All you'll need to do is tap on create an animation in the top left hand corner. And then from there, you're going to create your own animation. So let's say, for example, you would like the text to move from left to right. All you'll need to do is simply pull it from left to right. Then from there, you can choose whether you'd like to smooth it out. So you can see right there, or you can steady it. And as I was saying earlier, to control the speed using this option, you can pull along the line right here and you will be able to control the speed as you can see right there. And you can also add other motion effects if you want by going down right here, then you'll tap on done. Now to add animation to another page or another slide, you could simply tap on the slide. So let's say for example, page two, and from there you could add more animations if you want. But let's say for example sake, you would like to add animation to an image and to a text and you want to select the different animation time. So let's say for example, this image, I'll tap on the image, then tap on animate. Then after you have done that, you can select the animate option. So let's say for example, this option right there. So I'll tap on breathe. Then from there, you can see, you can choose whether you like it to animate in or out. You have two different options. Once you have done that, all you'll need to do now is tap on the text that you would like to animate. And after I've tapped on the text, from here, I'm going to simply tap on the animation option that I would like to use. So I can simply tap right there. And again, you can choose the different animate option, whether in or out. So you can see it right there. If I were to play it right now, so let's say, for example, I were to play this page. So I'll pull the slider right there. You can see right there the different animation times. So you can see it right there. And another thing that you could also do is by simply tapping on the timer right here, You'll be able to see the timer so you can increase or you can decrease the length of a page if you want, as you can see there. Hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative. By the way, when you're finished, all you'll need to do is tap on share in the top right hand corner, then scroll down, tap on download. After tapping on download, you'll select download once more. And from there, you'll be able to download your project. Hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe.